What's happening guys rise up 44 here on Nelio gaming in this video We're gonna be checking out Walden a game on the PlayStation 4. Let's jump right in I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately to front only the essential facts of life, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life, to live so sturdily and Spartan-like as to reduce it to its lowest terms, and, if it proved to be mean, to get the whole and genuine meanness of it, or if it were sublime, to know it by experience, and to give a true account of it. To begin living Thoreau's experiment, seek out the glittering arrowhead throughout seek out the glittering arrowhead throughout the woods. The first one is on the rock between you and the cabin. This is pretty interesting because press and hold the circle or the R2 button over anything in the world to inspect it closely. Everything looks pretty realistic, but the quality, the it's not clear. It's not, it looks like you're watching a, a TV show or a movie from the 70s or the 80s, I mean. white pine. White pines are far more indifferent to shade than pitch. So you can pretty much... Wow, you can look at everything. Bean field hoe. I did not read books the first summer. I hoed beans. An arrowhead. As much as sportsmen go in the pursuit of ducks and gunners of musquash, and scholars of the rare books and travelers of adventures and poets of ideas and all men of money, I go in search of arrowheads. Press X near the arrowhead to pick it up. Wishing to earn 10 or $12 by some honest and agreeable method, in order to meet my unusual expenses, I planted about two acres and a half of light and sandy soil, chiefly with beans. Dude's gonna eat beans. Hey! Interesting. It was a rabbit. Interacting closely with animals by pressing and holding circle or R2 button over them will add to your inspiration. Alright, where's that cabin? I got turned around. Seedlings, pine cones. This is actually pretty cool. And it definitely sounds just like it would in the woods. When I wrote the following pages, or rather the bulk of them, I lived alone in the woods, a mile from any neighbor, in a house which I had built myself on the shore of Walden Pond in Concord, Massachusetts. Hey. I earned my living by... When I first took up my abode in the woods, my house was not finished. It was a pleasant hillside where I worked, covered with pine woods, through which I looked out on the pond, and a small open field in the woods where pines and hickories were springing up. Where's the lake he's talking about? I don't see a lake. Oh, there it is. I see a little bit of it over there and over there. Wood pile. Interesting. I began to occupy my house on the 4th of July as soon as it was uh, boarded and roofed. It is still under construction. Well, yeah, it's roofed, but 
You get a flat roof right now. It's gonna get wet. You have a letter on your doorstep. For sex when you were over it to pick it up. Workbench. Press and hold the L2 button and use the right stick to make the motion to make the motion shown by the arrow. What? What are we doing? Oh, okay. Your shelter is progressing nicely. You have completed four walls, but you still need a roof. Oh, by just building this, I'm actually building my shelter. This is awesome. Look at that. More stuff just showed up on the right. You are out of energy. You need to rest near a fire to restore your energy, or you can take a walk in the woods to regain energy. Come back later and finish the task. Trophy earned carpenter. Okay. This is look at look at the progress we made just by hitting a few nails in. I wish that was real, like in real life. July fourth, eighteen forty five. Dearest Henry, congratulations on the start of your experiment. I hope that the work goes well and the ideas are fruitful. Mr. Emerson says you are intent to devour yourself in our woods. But I hope that you will remember to take good care and keep yourself well. Mother worries, as do I. Your loving sister, Sophia. Sophia. Press down to reread your mail. July, 1845. Dear Mr. Thoreau, my employer, Dr. Agassiz, was happy to meet you last month with Mr. Emerson and was quite impressed with your knowledge of local biology. He wonders if you might be able to provide some specimens for him to use in his work. Dr. Agassiz would gladly come to Concord to collect such specimens himself, but is drawn away by numerous and pressing engagements. If you are amenable to this idea, we will soon send you requests for these items and are happy to pay you for your trouble. Sincerely, James Elliot Cabot, assistant to Dr. Agassiz, Harvard University. Harvard? Harvard? This is your journal, a collection of all the ideas you found in the woods. The first page is a map of Walden. Use the left and right directional buttons to turn the pages. This is interesting because I know exactly where Concord is. I mean, it's not far from where I live. Fitchburg Railroad, I know where that is. Well, it's no longer the Fitchburg Railroad, but I mean, I know where Fitchburg is. Um, this is super interesting. There is some of the same fitness in a man's building his own house that there is in a bird's building its own nest. Who knows, but if men constructed their dwellings with their own hands and provided food for themselves and families simply and honestly enough, the poetic faculty would be universally developed, as birds universally sing when they are so engaged. Hey, I just saw a spearhead on the ground. Maybe I picked it up. Oh, there it is. What are you doing now? Emerson asked. Do you keep a journal? So I make my first entry today. So 
stacks of food. I had in my cellar a firkin of potatoes, about two quarts of peas with the weevil in them, and on my shelf a little rice, a jug of molasses, and rye, and of rye, and Indian meal a peck each. You can purchase necessities like food and fuel at the general store in Concord. It's getting dark. Press triangle to take out or put away your lantern. That is cool. It'd be cool if this turned into a horror story. There's Bigfoot and hmm. Spyglass. July 1845. My dear Henry. Mr. Emerson has assisted my family in acquiring a house near Concord, and there we are now, riding and living like philosophers, which is to say with little but happily. I will visit you soon and bring Mr. Garrison of the Liberator. We have all been so inspired by his earnest and unequivocal writings regarding the moral stain of slavery on our nation. Perhaps he will speak at our lyceum on the topic. Yours truly, A. Bronson Alcott. Must be mosquitoes galore. He's got no windows up. Press and hold the circular R2 button over things like bushes to get useful info about them. Hmm. You just spin in a circle and pick up everything within, like, reach. A you know, hair. Soon it will be time to rest and reflect on the day. My house was on the side of a hill, immediately on the edge of the larger wood in the midst of a young forest of pitch pines and hickories, and half a dozen rods from the pond, to which a narrow footpath led down the hill. In my front yard grew the strawberry. My residence was more favorable not only to thought, but to serious reading than a university. And though I was beyond the range of the ordinary circulating library, I had more than ever come within the influence of those books which circulate round the world. He's got stuff laying everywhere. It's going to get wet. When reading books, use the left and right directional buttons to turn the pages. Use the left stick to close the book and move away. What? What do you do? Oh, there we go. Use the D-pad. Alright, it's time to just chill. Use left and right. Wait. Oh, there we Wake. Where you are, at your cabin. You have another letter by your front door. You may get more mail. Don't. What? How do we have another letter by my front door? Why does anybody knock? We're in the middle of the woods. Come say hi. What the heck? I learned that it would cost incredibly little trouble to obtain one's necessary food, even in this latitude, that a man may use as simple a diet as the animals, and yet retain health and strength. The necessaries of life for man in this climate may, accurately enough, be distributed under the several heads of food, shelter, clothing, and fuel. For not till we have secured these are we prepared to entertain the true problems of life with freedom and a prospect of success. Another letter. July 1845. Dear Henry, 
You've told me yourself that it is difficult to begin anything without borrowing, and I know that you can use an axe, so I've left one for you in my front yard by the chopping stump. Do come by any time to fetch it. Perhaps we can discuss the new lecture I am working on while you are here. Your friend, Ralph Waldo Everson. that you find grow or buy will fill your food stores the food jar icon will glow green when they are completely filled we got a lot of berries here it's not glowing green yet That bird is annoying. Ring, ring. I love the wilderness, but that bird is something. Another arrowhead, perhaps? Yep. I kept Homer's Iliad on my table through the summer, though I looked at his page only now and then. I wonder if there's fishing poles. You could fish? Hey, if you had your fishing rod. The spot, the spot where you left it is marked with a red X. I like that. That is cool. Hmm. Fishing spot. I hear a fire. Hey, fire right here. Campfire. I sometimes left a good fire when I went to take a walk in a winter afternoon. And when I returned three or four hours afterward, it would be still alive and glowing. You are fully rested. Okay, so you rest by the fire. That's kind of cool. Another arrowhead, maybe? Man, they're everywhere. The grand necessity, then, for our bodies is to keep warm. To keep the vital heat in us. It's quite beautiful. I mean, it really is. You can cross the pond if you find a boat. Check along the shoreline. Little, little pond over here. Driftwood. Huh. Wonder if we'll see any like deer or anything. those birds more berries <coughs> they must have went out and re hey forager 
bronze PlayStation stove. Uh, that might be a gold PlayStation trophy, actually. Could be a bronze, could be gold. But I'm wondering if they went out and recorded in the woods, because this sounds so realistic. They probably did. You can run by holding L1 or R1. Running uses more energy, so don't get overexert yourself. That's cool. Interesting. Indian grass. What is that? Oh, it's a building. Hey, there's somebody up there? Or is that Bigfoot? Alright, where am I? I just want to see what that big building was. Hey, our food stores are green. I hear the church bell. Listening for sounds of life in the distance will add to your inspiration. There's a house right there. Maybe that's the professor's. Hmm. Stone wall. Yeah, I heard. I just heard a cow. Conquered. This road will lead away from the woods to the town of Concord. Every day or two, I stroll to the village to hear some of the gossip which is incessantly going on there, circulating either from mouth to mouth or from newspaper to newspaper, and which, taken in homeopathic doses, was really as refreshing in its way as the rustle of leaves and the peeping of frogs. This is the home of Ralph Waldo. Hey, Emerson, this is the guy I was supposed to come here. You can enjoy his library. Cool. Toy hoop. It's very good to make your acquaintance, Mr. Thoreau. Your sister seems to believe our thoughts and philosophies are very much aligned. It is good to find a youth so interested in the finer fruits of thought. This is pretty interesting. I really... I did not expect this, dude. Now you have an axe, which you can use at chopping stumps throughout the woods. Stumps with axes in them to replenish your fuel restore. Okay. That's cool. Hey, there's a person. That's the first person I see. Money. Working. <laughs> Gotta make that moolah. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm tired. It's getting dark. Let's go see what this guy is. Good evening. Is. Good evening. <laughs> His character model's a little off, but. His arms are like flailing. This is cool though. I'm I'm definitely digging it. Can we save? Yeah, save game. Pretty cool. We can use his library to read books, show help, save game, load game. So that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay preview with Walden, a game here on the PlayStation 4. I do appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So I got to say, I was definitely taken by surprise. I didn't know what kind of game this was. And to be honest, the, the initial title screen is, it, it's a bit, it's not very inviting, to be honest. It's not very, oh, how can I put this lightly? It's not, it's not colorful. It's not, it's very plain. Yeah, it's very plain. Maybe that's a better word for it. It, it. it doesn't like, it doesn't really tell you anything about what you're about to get into, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it looks like the seasons, so I guess they were going for a certain look, but it's just very plain and blah. Once I actually got into the game and realized what we were going to be doing and learning about this guy's life and going on adventures and it's actually pretty darn interesting and i'm into it i i wouldn't really think that i would normally be into it but i'm finding more and more that i'm liking these walking simulator type games where you're just like learning a bit about the characters and there's all this environmental information and it's just it's it's cool to try different games and i'm digging it so uh definitely interested to play more i'll jump back in and i'll record it and post it here on now that you for you all to see you know i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section so please uh provide them down below and that's going to do it for this video i'll see you in the next one